Hello, my name is Taharka, and today's video is about using Microsoft Office and Mixed Reality. I'm recording here from my Quest 2 device by Meta, or the Oculus Quest 2, depending on who you're talking to. And to get started, uh, all you have to do is open the browser and go to office.com. On that website, you'll see there's options to either sign up or sign in. We're going to go ahead and click the sign up option, just in case you don't have an account already. So let's do that now. And what it will bring you to is the familiar Microsoft screen, which will let you uh, create an account here, uh, as well as create an email address if you don't have one uh, already. We'll go back. And I would normally use the sign in option, but I'm already signed in in another browser. So let me go ahead and do that now. And here I am after logging in uh, at the home screen of uh, office.com. So you can see some recent documents I've been working on. And on the left side, you'll see some of the most popular uh, Microsoft Office products there. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint. But if we click on Apps and then More Apps, we can see the full list that's available to us here. Uh, again, office.com. Uh, and this account uh, is free. So all you have to do is sign up to get access uh, to all of these different tools, which again, you can see we're using in mixed reality. So what does mixed reality mean? Um, it means that uh, I can see the real world there behind me while I'm in my headset, while also seeing the overlay uh, of those Microsoft apps uh, and the virtual screens in front of me. So I have a few more screens open. So I'll actually open those there now. So uh, we have Microsoft Word on the right there, PowerPoint on the left, and in the middle, I'll open up Excel. And now we have the starting page for all three of those tools uh, in front of us there. So we can open projects in any one of them, but we'll actually use all of them here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and start a new Word document. Go and open a new PowerPoint presentation, as well as a new Excel workbook. Give those each a moment to load. So you can see uh, we can have three screens open at a time, um, again, while also still seeing the real world behind us. So creating a virtual office inside of our real space here. On the right side, we'll see Microsoft Word. I'll drag that over to the middle. And you can see it's actually in dark mode, which is uh, an option as well. So we'll move around. Uh, you'll see the blank document. And what we can do is we can scroll across each of the tabs, all of those familiar tabs that you would be used to uh, for any of the options that you would need. And then we have an on-screen keyboard, which I'm controlling now with uh, the controllers for the Quest 2. Let's drag PowerPoint over here to the middle. And now you can see a blank PowerPoint document where we can start uh, typing in text. As we go across the tabs there, you'll see the on-screen keyboard pop up. But on the right, um, there are different design elements and such. We can create a new tab using all of the different styles um, that you might be used to. Let's move on to Excel here. We have a blank Excel document. We can create new sheets um, as needed. Again, we can scroll across the ribbon and check out all of those different tabs for all the options that we might want to use. The on-screen keyboard there for when we need to type into those different cells. And as I pan around with my head, uh, looking side to side, again, you can see my real world desk uh, in the background there with the virtual screens overlaid atop. So I can move those virtual screens around so we can see my real desk a little bit more. So again, uh, patio door is there um, and the rest uh, of my office space down at the desk, so the keyboard and microphone and such. And let's open up some more windows so you can really get the feel for this. So now we have all three of those windows open that we were using before. Uh, but again, a, a clear view of the mixed reality workspace being that uh, you can see the real world and the virtual world or the virtual screens, as it were, uh, at the same time. So let me minimize PowerPoint and Word there so we can focus on Excel, look at a few more options. So if you go to the ellipsis on the top right, um, there are Zoom uh, options for uh, the whole browser window there, uh, which is sometimes handy in Excel as those cells can get small. 
Um, but you can also see the zoom options within the workbook as well. Uh, so you can make just Excel um, bigger. I'll put the controllers down. And now you can see I have my hands available to me here uh, in this mixed reality space. So I can now control everything with uh, just a pinch of a, a finger here. So we'll open back up PowerPoint then. Pinch the menu again, and we can open up Word. Again, the same actions I took with the controllers, but again, I'm controlling everything now uh, with my hands. So in the Word document, we click to get the on-screen keyboard, and now I can type a message here uh, using my hands. Uh, not the most efficient way, of course, you can use uh, mouse and keyboard inside of VR, uh, as long as you get those things set up, uh, certainly for another video. Uh, but definitely makes uh, productivity better when, when you do have the mouse and keyboard. Picking up the controllers again. Anytime I want to, if I go into settings, I can click path through home and it'll take me back into virtual reality. So now I cannot see uh, my real world uh, behind the virtual screens. Um, it is my virtual um, or virtual reality workspace. Uh, but there is a representation uh, of my desk here, so um, I can put objects or my hands down, but let's put the controllers down for a moment. And now in virtual reality, I have my hands back. So you can see the menus hiding, uh, highlighted on my hands there. Uh, and now I can move around with my hands again, manipulate windows, click uh, actions and so forth. So I'll click to go back into mixed reality, since that's what this video is about here. And we'll open back up uh, Excel and get us back to the state where we were working on three different uh, office apps at the same time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.